What's up, math fans? You may remember something called quadratic equations. Well, guess what? Quadratic equations are the same as quadratic functions, and they should look like this. f of x equals ax squared plus bx plus c. And you already did a whole unit on factoring quadratics where it was just ax squared plus bx plus c. And some people might even say, instead of using f of x, they use the letter y, which to me makes more sense, but function notation uses f of x. So that is the same as this. It's exactly the same. So for this video, I actually stood with y, but I'll be morphing into f of x soon. Don't worry. Um, so if you take a quadratic and you type it into a graphing calculator, as long as y is alone, you can type the rest of this. You go to the y equals button. It's actually a button. It looks like this, y equals. Hit it, and then you type in the rest. And when you press graph, you will find a parabola. And it will look either like a U, U shape, or an upside down U shape. Now, the thing about a parabola is it's symmetrical. There's a middle. In the middle, there's what's considered a line of symmetry. So this dotted line I just drew is considered the line of symmetry. And the line of symmetry is always a vertical line because the u is either up or down. We're not talking about sideways u's just yet. So here's my line of symmetry, it's vertical. And vertical lines, if you put vertical lines on a graph, they are in the form of x equals something. And I know you're gonna say, well, but the x-axis is actually horizontal. Yes, but a vertical line graph would have an equation x equals something because it goes through the x-axis x equals, let's say it's five in this case. I'm just making up a number, all right? So keep that in mind. Your line of symmetry is x equals something, all right? The parabola itself is symmetrical, which means it is uh, the same on both sides, right? So if you type this thing in a calculator, but the window's too small, you might only get part of it. You only ever get that part, you might only get that part, or you might get a perfect picture. If you don't get a perfect picture, you need to find the middle. So how do you know where to find the middle? You keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling. There's a formula, and the formula is this. X equals negative B over 2A, okay? So that is what your something is. So this formula is very, very important. Write it down, learn it, love it, memorize it. Um, okay, so that's gonna give me my X value, but if I'm on a graph, I might wanna find the actual vertex. So this word that I'm using, vertex, is called a turning point, okay? So this turning point of a parabola. If the parabola is U-shape, then the vertex is on the bottom here, and it's called a minimum, minimum. If the vertex is on top, it's called a maximum, okay? Why is this important? Well, in business, especially if you're selling stuff, let's say you're selling shoes. Um, if I'm selling a few shoes, I might not make that much money, so I wanna sell more shoes, and then I make more money. Does that make sense? However, if I sell too many shoes, people say, oh, there's too many of them, I don't need to buy this many, and then you start to lose money again. So, you can imagine that as a parabola. Maybe I sell no shoes, I have no money. I start selling shoes, my money goes up, 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 and then there's a peak. And then you start to make too many shoes, and now you're gonna, your, your money's going back down because you made too many shoes. So you're wasting money making shoes, nobody else is buying. They already bought them, they, they're, they're done. Nobody likes your sneakers anymore, sorry. So then the problem comes back down. So knowing where to maximize your income, that's a very important point in business. All right, so here's an equation. My question to you is what is the maximum point? What is the turning point? What is the vertex of this parabola? So you get your calculator, you type, and you can look at the picture, but it's kind of hard to see looking at a picture. I don't need to do all that. I just use my formula. So x equals negative b over 2a. What do you mean by b and a? Well, it comes from here. ax squared plus bx plus c. The a is the first coefficient, which is a one. The b is negative four and the c is nine. So sometimes some people actually put that ABC like that, and then you just plug in. So this is negative B, which is a negative four. So that's negative negative four over two times one, which is positive four over two, which is two. My highest point is X equals two. But remember what I said earlier, a point has coordinates, not just X, but X comma Y. So how do I find Y if I know X? 
oh, but y equals all this. So just plug in 2. So y equals 2 squared minus 4 times 2 plus 9. What's that? 4 minus 8 plus 9. 4 minus 8 is negative 4. Negative 4 plus 9 is 5. All right? 5. So what is my vertex for the number 1? The x-coordinate is 2. The y-coordinate is 5. 2 comma 5 is your turning point. It's almost like saying the most you could do, sell two sneakers, make $5. Or, I don't know, sell two million sneakers, make $5 million. It could be in terms of millions. All right, try it again. So pause the video, do it on your own, and then, and now check your answer with me. So here A is 2, B is negative 8, and C is positive 9. Now again, I want to find the vertex. So X equals negative B, which is negative negative 8, over 2 times A is 2 this time. So that's positive 8 over 4, which coincidentally happens to be 2 again, not always, but I still need the Y. So I'm going to go back to the beginning and plug in my answer. That's 2 times 2 squared minus 8 times 2 plus 9, which is 2 times 4. Now I'm doing PEMDAS, exponents first. 2 times 4 minus 16 plus 9 is, hopefully you can still see this, 8 minus, yikes, 16 plus 9. 8 minus 16 is negative 8. Negative 8 plus 9 is 1. So here my vertex is uh, 2 comma 1. 2 comma 1. And this would be, again, my maximum would be at 2 comma 1. 2 million sneakers, 1 million dollars. All right? So that's how you find your vertex. Thanks for watching. See ya.